So I entered a stop entry above this buy signal bar, hoping that it leads to um, a breakout of this bull flag and resolves to the upside. I only bought one share and I'm not giving it much room, so my risk is pretty small, but I think I'm gonna wait for a break above the high of day. So my, my reward is much larger than my risk, which is, um, which is different than most of my trades. I have my profit target at a new high, so if we break the high of day, um, I'll, I'll get out for about 60 cents. I just got filled there. So we did end up breaking the high of day, but it looks like we're going a lot higher. This was something that I was considering swinging. Um, that's probably the one thing that I still have to work through is like my identity as a trader. And sometimes I want to swing it. Sometimes I want to see how far it can go, but you can't have it both ways. Like either I'm going to be a scalper and take small profits and high probability setups, or I'm going to take swing entries and let them go as far as possible. I'm not sure how to decide what to do, but also I don't know how to integrate those two things. Maybe I can sell half as a scalper and leave the other half as a swing. I'm not sure. That's just something that when I enter a trade, I don't know. My instinct is to scalp it, but I don't know if I should be holding for swings or only hold for swings when the probability is high for a swing. That's something I'm still working through. So in, in this kind of situation, I don't know if I should hold for a potential very large move up or if I should um, take profits quickly and stick to my um, kind of my scalping tendencies.